gap before you get on the like the jetway deal and you just yeah. it was just like a blast furnace you know 124 oh, yeah. degrees or some shit like that you can feel the air between the fucking plane and the the thing you're getting on just come in and you're like god damn it dude like you feel like you just <laughs> passed through an oven for half a second and your life flashes oh. before your eyes yeah it's oh, just gnarly Ugh. yeah yeah I, that that shit's gross <laughs> just just gross there's uh, just places people shouldn't live yeah <laughs> one of them yeah i felt the same way about montana i was like why up there on the high line i was like you know 17 days in a row and it never got above negative 10 like that that was the high <laughs> that ain't fucking right <laughs> no it, it's just it's awful just just fucking awful uh, i i ain't gonna live in a place where i can't piss outside like that ain't happening yeah <laughs> uh, you uh, can do it but you it's can do it, it, it yeah cool. anything anything's possible if you try hard and believe in yourself i don't believe in myself enough to do a negative 10 and try to go pee <laughs> well <clears throat> it's weird because it just like you hear a cracking sound when it hits the ground it just like as it, it freezes <laughs> as it's hitting the ground and you know and that's that's body temperature too. So it, it's fucking weird. Uh, but I, I imagine uh, Dale Brisby won't be covering any of that on, uh, on how to be a cowboy. Uh, he's down in, in no. Texas. So that, that, that's not a, I guess last, last year they had a little, they had a little stint where they, they got some cold, but I, I, I imagine that didn't make it on the Netflix show. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I, but, uh, I like, I like a lot of his rodeo stuff because, I mean, there's guys out there. There's one thing he was talking about. Like, if you go to a rodeo, just show up with, like, one of those Jack Daniels shirts you can get from Boot Barn. If you see somebody <laughs> else who's got shaps on that uh, that's wearing a Jack Daniels shirt, don't just don't talk to them. That way they don't know that you're not a real cowboy or whatever the fuck. But... Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. I See, I like to wear my shaps to the rodeo even if I'm not in just, uh, just so people know I'm legit. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, and I'll wear my spurs on the wrong feet and, uh, you know, just, uh, just so people know I'm cool. But, uh, <laughs> just, just wear, wear my ball cap and a t-shirt and I avoid people. Yeah. I, uh, I don't go to rodeos much anymore. I, I, I like them, but, if if I don't have somebody that I like that I know uh in it or if I'm not like I the ranch rodeos the same way anymore. I just I, I'm either like bullshitting with people away from the arena or I, I just I don't know. I've seen enough rodeos there. It's the it's whatever. I Yeah. It's different. But, it's a lot different when you're watching it. Like I don't know. I can't watch rodeos just because I fucking I did it for so long. It's like a basketball player trying to sit down and watch a basketball game. It's like you want to go do something with it. So I just don't yeah. go to rodeo. For that. Yeah, I might no, go and- if a reasonable time, but I like to be in bed by nine o'clock. And uh, if they had them at like four thirty or five o'clock, maybe I'd go. Uh, but I think I'm getting old, and I, I don't. Well, I don't they have them in the summer me. too. So at four thirty in the afternoon, it's just balls ass hot so like, like <laughs> there's no yeah. reason to be outside if you're not getting paid for it so yeah i don't i don't like but, standing in crowds or being around that many people in the first place yeah same reason well, i don't sponsor it's much anymore yeah that uh i liked the the braun brothers reunion how they had that set up because like there was i mean there was a shitload of people there it was like you know three four thousand people but they also had like a, it was at the golf course. So they had like a huge, so like as long if you weren't up there by the stage, there was plenty of room to move around and shit. You didn't have to get all claustrophobic, but it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, they, they, that was a good setup. No, the last yeah. concert I went to uh, was in 2018. I went to see Tyler Childers in Denver. Oh, in a tiny fucking venue and there had to have been like 2000 
people packed into this fucking tiny. Did you go to the Grizzly Rose or? No, nah, it was. Uh, I don't even remember what it was called. It was down on Main. Oh, it's probably like the Bluebird Theater or some shit like that. It was some theater, but it was fucking tiny and it was packed. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I was standing shoulder to shoulder with people, and I was a nerd wreck the whole fucking time. I couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, and they don't let you, uh, like, most of those, especially in Denver, those, uh, like, those theaters, they'll, they'll uh, frisk you and shit before you go in, too, so you can't even carry. And, uh, so yeah. I, I, yeah, you just get yeah. claustrophobic as hell. Um, they had, they had metal detectors at the door. Oh, yeah. Once you came in, you couldn't leave. I was like, this is a fucking death trap in here. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, halfway I, through it, I wanted to go smoke a cigarette, and they had cops at the door, and they were like, "You can leave, but you can't come back." And I was like, "Fuck you guys!" <laughs> you got it. You should have brought your vape. That's uh, I'm too cool for kids that. do nowadays. <laughs> I'm too cool for that. I'd rather get the cancer than yeah, suck it. just suck just main US mainline people. the cancer. <laughs> All right, Nick. Let's Fucking uh. Let's start this bitch. All right. Uh, you you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. How to be a cowboy, season one, episode one. Welcome to the Radiator Ranch. I would uh, I would share the screen with you, Chris, but they'll. I'm sure they'd nuke that real quick. No, nah, that's all right. Me and screens don't get along anyway. No, I'm not like my third new phone. <laughs> all Do you wear flashy shirts like that, Matt? Uh, no. I try to buy just the the plain blue ones if I can. I've got a few that are a little bit... Like, I've got some going out shirts that are paisley and shit, but I don't like those old school ones, no. I, I wear... I always buy just the plain ass striped or plaid wrangler pearl snap shirts yeah i've never i've never liked those flashy fucking pattern shirts or the paisley ones i think the only flashy shirt i have is from the wedding i uh i like paisley but i uh yeah i i don't know i i like like they're wearing right there but i and they gotta have two pockets i hate the single pocket shirts with so no much. fucking flag. yes what Who the fuck makes single pocket shirts oh they're like Fresh sh- cinch then all the cinch shirts are yeah. single pockets it seemed like which sucks because cinch shirts fit awesome but they uh yeah i i keep my phone in one pocket and i keep my chew in the other pocket and uh yeah I, I like I like just the old Wrangler pearl snaps. Those are my my favorite ones. But I like them because you can get undressed and dressed in a hurry. Yeah, uh, the Eli Cattlemans are fine, except they uh, the snaps give me some sort of reaction, and they so like a breakout right there on the on the sleeves, like some cheap metal. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing until I until I started buying them, and then, yeah, I. I and it's not bad. Like it, it just, it's like a a mild mosquito bite. Well, at least it sounds better than lead poisoning, but. Yeah. 
just check the check the tags, make sure it's not made in China because they're out there trying to kill us right now. <laughs> oh, they've been trying that for a while. Yeah, I wonder how many people uh, who have ordered shit off the Wish app have gotten coronavirus from the box. You know, like I, there's somebody my... just fucking coughing that shit directly into the box before they seal it. It's funny, uh, my Did father-in-law you? bought a pair of uh, like cargo pants off of uh, Wish the other day, and uh, apparently they're in Chinese size because they, they were like <laughs> two inches too short. <laughs> and he, he like he ordered his size, you know, like 32 waist or whatever, and they were like way, way, way too small. <laughs> I've ordered China's just there... guys. Go ahead. So I was gonna say China's just got some guy in an assembly line that's sick, and they just wait until yeah. all the fucking shit gets in the box and sneezes on it, and then they send it out. <laughs> he, 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 he sneezes on it and then fucks it and then sends it off. <laughs> <laughs> Go for you. I've got no uh, no picture on. I've got the I've got the sound, but no no vidya. No vidya on the Dale Brisby. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm sh- I'm sure it's my my computer. It's all right though. You ain't missing much. They're waiting for an intern. Waiting Spoiler for an intern. It's a girl. Yeah. Yeah, I, that was in the description, so they didn't do a very good job of uh, holding the suspense there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not uh, not trying to be rude, but it bugs the fuck out of me when a guy has long hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I uh, stage their own, I guess, but I'm not. Uh, you know, it's whatever. Not, I don't. Know. I don't That's care too, too much for it, but it, it's fucking too hot out here to have long hair. So, <laughs> I I can't stand it. Like through the winter, I won't get a haircut, and my hair will get kind of long. Uh, but once it starts growing and fucking <laughs> over my ears, I can't stand that shit. Yeah. I uh yeah but, once once my hair gets long enough, I like I can't. Sp- I can't stand it. Like if it if it's messing with my like I can feel it on my ears. Uh yeah, I can't I can't do that shit. Yeah, that's that's part of my saving grace is is fucking I can't deal with it and I've never grown a mullet for it, so I guess I can be grateful for that. Well I, tried you're a Marine. And then... I have never grown a mullet and it's because I didn't grow up in the eighties and I'm not a faggot. So I, I can't do that. But like uh, Billy Ray Cyrus was the coolest thing ever in 1992. That was before my time. I mean, I just turned 30 like two days ago, or no, a day ago. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, is that before my time? I'm like, well, I'll be two. So I mean, technically, but at the same time, it's like, God damn, you're 56 years old. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, at least I know how old I am. You know, is this going to be like a sketch comedy or just a straight reality show? Does it feel more like a reality show? It's yeah. that's what it's feeling like. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Toyota. The chicks driving up in the Toyota. Spoiler alerts for everybody that's watching. We don't have many people watching right now, but. I know that guy.
I bet her dad's happy. Yeah. You know, there's there's something about <clears throat> like with women and uh, the extreme sports, like whether it be bronc riding, bull riding, or like the UFC chicks. I don't really enjoy the chick fights in UFC, and then like then there's like the bare knuckle, like. There's even chicks fighting bare knuckle boxing now. I could watch just, that. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. I don't know. I, I it's just weird. May I mean, I'll, well, just grow, growing up in the Bible Belt, you don't hit women. That's you know like the main rule you're you're taught. And now <clears throat> you always thought like if if you saw chick fights, that was either ghetto or white trash shit. And oh, I uh, love the ghetto white <clears throat> trash. Fight. I could watch that and, all day. Um, those black chicks will clean up the white trash chick fights. So, like, if if you you take a white trash chick versus uh, like a ghetto black chick, I'll I'll put money on the ghetto black chick all day long. Uh, they hit uh, they hit like a man. <laughs> yeah, and advantage <laughs> the black girls uh, because their wig might fall off. White girl just lost a handhold and somebody's getting fucked up for pulling a wig off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing you don't do. Pull that you want. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, the, the black girl is, girl, hold my earrings, and then, bam! <laughs> right cross, right to the face. <coughs> they, don't, they, they don't fuck around with the... Uh, they, they don't fuck around with, like, the slap and the, and the claw and shit. No, it's straight up just fucking jab 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 one two yeah i don't know i was i was talking to one of my friends today and she was saying that she knocked a dude out so i'm actually kind of impressed you know but you say in the bible belt they always say don't hit women but that does not pertain to a sister because i had an older sister that will fuck me up (laughs) yeah when when it's family that's a little different My little sister got all the WWE moves uh, done on the trampoline, <laughs> like power bomb. Um, what was uh, it's like the the rack or something like where you like hold them behind your your shoulders and you just jump up and down. I like how she still has a spine. I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember meeting my sister Ashley at the wedding? Yes, she has fucked me up more times than I could probably count. <laughs> I, I believe that. She, she we were looks a, like she could. We were in a screaming match in the uh, house one time. And she was cooking dinner. And she was getting into the fucking pantry to get something out of it. And she had said something to me. We were arguing. And I was like, how do you quit being a fucking cunt? And she grabbed a can of beans and chunked it across the house and hit me in the side of the fucking head with it. Like Peyton Manning. You <laughs> 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 got that guilt. bullet arm, dude. <laughs> yeah. My sister, my sister, we've gotten into it a couple times. I think the last time, to be fair, like minus my pride, she probably won because she fucking hooked my nose with her fingers and pulled back behind me. <laughs> and, uh, but she won't fucking, she won't let me live it down when she was fucking. When she was like a newborn, I tried to fucking kill her because I was a fucking spoiled brat at that point. <laughs> like she, she was in her crib taking a nap. And my mom heard her breathing weird and she came in and she was like, she was like, what's going on? And she saw me kicking her and I said, life was good until you came along. <laughs> and I'm, fucking, I'm 30 fucking years old. My sister will still fucking in the group chat. She'll be like, hey, remember that time you tried to kill me? I'm still here, you motherfucker. I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> Yeah, my my little sister, like she's she's got to have spine problems at some point. Uh, <laughs> Too many pile drivers. <laughs> yeah, I mean she. There there was a lot, and this was, you know, like in the heyday of uh, like of uh, well, it was, it was back. You know, I guess I'm older than you, fucks. I'm I'll be Is it like thirty six. Yeah, so it was like I, I remember when WCW was still a thing. 
and uh oh uh, yeah yeah so but then then there was like the on wwf back when it was wwf there was like the there was dx the the bad boys that back back in the heyday of wrestling still fake as shit but it was it was entertaining as hell yeah i haven't watched i haven't watched I miss- wrestling in a long time but yeah, I miss the days of like Hulk Hogan and stuff like that. That was like, that was my shit back in the day. Until I fi- until I figured out like it was fake, then I was like, eh, I can't really can't really get with it knowing that they're not really doing that. But I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still they're still athletes. They're in better fucking shape than I will ever be. But uh, oh yeah, they also had a lot of roids, a lot of roids, a lot Program. of. <laughs> A lot of murder suicides in <laughs> with former wrestlers. Yeah, uh, an unnatural amount of murder suicides in the wrestling world. Yeah, it's um. There's there's a correlation there. <laughs> alarming amount of murder yeah. suicides. Uh, Chris Benoit, he was one of my favorites too. But then you're like, he dove off the top rope and headbutt people. Big shock! He murdered his family and killed himself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Spoiler alert! Like, <laughs> didn't see that, that going that way at all. Yeah, probably was well. You think that was CTE? No, couldn't have been CTE. <laughs> <laughs> what was his finishing move? Oh yeah, the the flying headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what he called it, but it was. Face. Oh, yeah, he just like dove into people with his face. <laughs> Are they loading that bull yet on your end? Uh, they loaded the bull. Terrible job uh, healing that sucker. That was a uh, good job on that gate. Real good job on that gate. Real good job. That's how you lose the tooth. Yeah. I, I can't talk too much shit. It's been a while since uh, since I've had to load anything in a trailer. You don't have to do that much in the feedlot. So. Oh, I, uh, man. I do it once a week or once every other week, but not with a rope. Yeah. <clears throat> Same I, principle. Uh, I'm going to start carrying my GoPro more often now because we're, we're out of uh, – like it's real slow right now, so I'm just gonna work on my trick shot rope and buckaroo Ooh. loops now. Oh, we get to watch some, some fence. I got a feeling that they're gonna make this a lot harder than it should be. Yeah, more than a feeling. Tell me when you get to the backing up the trailer. I make it an yeah. emotion out of it. I, I I don't I don't know. I'm not real impressed with it so far. No, this is gonna be a terrible show. Yeah, I kinda Oh no. Yeah, I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> but it's just I don't know, it's kinda boring. <laughs> you talking about this fucking Black stock trailer, they got a backup. Yeah, man. I had a fucking I was trying to load up my fucking horse this weekend because I was gonna take her out here. And uh fucking I had to rewire the the harness for the fucking two horse the two horse death trap I have. I fucking I pulled it around the property a couple times to make sure that it was good, and I thought it was good because I was seeing tread on the ground instead of just dragging. And I fucking, as soon as I got on the road, the fucking brakes were locked up. And I fucking flatted a tire. Oh. Felt like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, big dude. You'll have that. Yeah. I've never. And an electrician. Trailer, I have not. Not. What's up? I've never driven a trailer with brakes on it. Well, we, we took that line out because the thing is, is that we got it as a gift from like her, my ex's grandparents. And it, they took it down here with with a four point adapter, 
and it's a seven point trailer. So like the, it happened the first day we had it, um, the same thing. And then she, she let some people borrow it because we had some really bad fires out by where we were at and they were, they were fucking helping evacuate horses and shit. And, uh, but it got back and it had a broken wire and I tried to fucking solder that bitch on there and learned real quick. I can't solder too good. <laughs> and I tried to just replace, try to replace the whole damn thing. And I had the fucking running lights. I'm like, all right, I'll be good with running lights as long as the brakes aren't fucking stuck. And that was my fucking issue right there. Oh. Yeah. Trailer, trailer wiring fucking sucks. It never doesn't suck. If ever you have to rewire a trailer uh bring a sharpie and write on the fucking trailer what goes where just because if you do it once you're gonna do it twice yeah best have to look at yep yep yeah i uh i hate trailer wiring and and you're better off just running conduit and pull you know just run it all through conduit and it'll last way longer cost you a little extra money to right off the get-go but man it's way better yeah i'm not gonna lie this show kind of sucks like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> i I mean i don't i really don't want to be the like the just the talk shit guy but i it's just <laughs> I'm not, well, that's not thing, impressed. Like, the thing about cowboy shows, I mean, I, like I love cowboy shows, but like they have to really fucking break it down for people who don't know what the fuck there is going on. Like watching what was it, Yellowstone. I was yeah. watching it. And it got to the bareback ride and shit, and I was just like, okay, there's a little bit more to it than just fucking tucking your chin in there, buddy. But yeah. then I went, I went up to a, a fucking uh, parade. And I had people bumping into the back of my horse and shit. I'm like, okay, that's why they have to fucking break it down that dumb because some people just don't understand it. Yeah, there's but, uh, you you really have to dumb it down, but I was expecting it to be funnier though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you Somebody wanted to like it, I'm sure he he should really kind of. I feel like he should stick more to to. The rodeo stuff, in my opinion. I mean, when he was talking about dudes that say that they're going to go rodeo, and they, but then like they ask them what rodeo they're going to, and like, oh, sorry, I can't make it to that one. I'm all papered up. It's like that. That I've seen in real life. Like I've fucking gone to a few rodeos with a few like fucking sidewalk cowboys, and it's it's just funny when you start asking questions and realize how much some somebody doesn't know. And not to yeah. pick on them too much. It's just it's just funny to. Like you don't have to lie to kick it. Like you can fucking say you don't know shit, and you, you can learn. Right. Yeah, somebody willing to help you if you you admit you don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Like the <laughs> my first, my first uh, my first rodeo <clears throat> experience was in high school, and I was going in and I didn't know how to fucking get the goddamn cinch around the bronc. And I was like, I mean, like I got the hook around, and like I hooked the fucking cinch up, but I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I turned to one of the fucking dudes that was in the back, and he's like, okay, I got you. So, you know, it, it it helps you, plus it helps that person feel appreciated. So it's like, just fucking ask a question, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh for sure. I mean, that, that goes with everything. Like, I, I'd way rather have somebody, like, you know, like, new guy at work say, hey, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Because then yeah. I can at least be like, hey, all right, stay, stay the fuck out of the way, or be here, be there, whatever. Instead of somebody like, yeah, I've been, I've been around, you know, all cowboyed up there and cowboyed over there, and then they have no fucking clue where they need to be. Yeah, they there's just... fake it till you make it works in certain situations, but um, you get exposed nah. real quick, cowboying. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I Robbie was right. It is almost the exact same format as uh, Duck Dynasty. Yeah, and that got, got older too. 
I I enjoyed Duck Dynasty for a while, and then it, yeah, like, it got old. The, the show, the show I really fucking liked that only had like one season was called Way Out West, and they were actually like a lot of the shit they were doing. I could see fucking me and my friends doing back in high school. It was like they were blowing up like fucking beaver dams and just fucking doing stupid cowboy shit, like fucking putting people that shouldn't be on horses on horses and fucking just letting them <laughs> fucking rip. I I never did see that one, I guess, but yeah, I uh, I don't. I, there, there really hasn't ever been a good cowboy show, and doesn't doesn't appear like this one's going to be another uh, any any different. But yeah, this this going to be it. Uh, I mean, uh, Yellowstone's a good show, but I don't watch it for the cowboy shit. Like it's it's yeah, a good it's it's well written. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good drama, but it's not a it's not a good cowboy show. I've seen Some a lot good of music. People. I seen a bunch oh, of people yeah. talking shit about it on Facebook the other day. It was like, you know what? Everybody fucking knows that that's not what it's really like on a fucking rent. Well, I guess not Most everyone people. knows. People living in the city might think that's what it's like, but yeah, anybody who's been around cattle knows that that's not how shit happens. Yeah, and it, yeah. <clears throat> it's made for entertainment, not for informational purposes well hell even boots liked yellowstone i didn't that was that one kind of surprised me even boots enjoyed it so it was kind of raunchy yeah. but i didn't mind it yeah it's it's definitely well written i mean that fucking the son or whatever the adopted one i fucking hate his character but that's why that's why what Rip makes or it whatever like, no, no not the, Rip, but fucking the lawyer the yeah. Oh yeah, he's a piece of shit. I and I I only watched the first season. I, I haven't watched I haven't watched a whole lot of TV since I started the podcast. Till tell you the truth, I all yeah. my TV time has went to to editing podcasts. But uh, uh the chick wrote a bull. There you go. Good for her. Uh, she just getting on on my side. I got bigger balls. Than I- she cover? <laughs> I I don't know. It was like practice pin type deal. So, uh, no buzzer. Dude, there's a there's a chick fucking me and my buddy knew that fucking rode. She rode saddle bronc. I think she rode saddle bronc or bareback. But fucking every goddamn girl I've ever met that's on rough stock is out of her goddamn mind. Like just fucking what? all around crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. <clears throat> there, I met that, who who posted that that meme in the bull session the other day. It was like, uh, it was it was some chick hugging a pit bull, and it's like it's not uh it's not the breed. It's how you raise them. And the comment underneath was like, I strongly disagree. Any blonde chick with a Chucky tattoo. Is crazy no matter how they're <laughs> raised. <laughs> I met uh, Brittany Miller practice pin in Nebraska. Uh, yeah, that gal that rides ranch Bronx, and she's she's pretty down to earth. She's a real nice lady. Uh, did not seem batshit crazy, but I didn't talk to her for very long. She did get on like fucking probably eight to twelve horses that day, so that that's a little crazy. But they, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Of, that's a lot She's of pretty dedicated. Uh, there's there's a few of those gals that that ride Bronx like pretty regular, and <clears throat> I don't know. I, more more power to them. I don't. I don't get on them. I uh, I don't particularly like hitting the ground. So like that that's the thing on on the rodeo side. If you're a rough stock, you will hit the ground. Uh, that's part of it. And well, I, I try to stay good. on long enough that I can get their head pulled around, and uh, and then ride them out like that. That's that's my my goal. And if uh, if I hit the ground, especially now I'm getting older, it sticks for days on end. And uh, yeah, so, and even when you do cover, it just 
beats the shit out of your thighs. And, uh, yeah, I, as like I said, I, I try to get their head pulled around to the right and, uh, get them circling. And then, you know, then I'll stick them in the neck and, and act tough. I, I was never good. At it, so, uh, I'm, I got tired I'm look- of money. I might as well just show up and hand them a hundred bucks and go sit in the stands. Cause <laughs> I'm That's what we should have done in. with Afghanistan. Just wrote him a trillion dollar check and left. <laughs> oh man, don't get me started on that shit. Fucking, oh. Yeah, I went to the day that shit was happening. I went to a bar and I fucking had like two pitchers of beer, which was fucking dumb to do that day. And some somebody started asking me about Afghanistan. And I fucking think I've talked for about an hour. I was on a fucking soapbox. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh amazing how yeah it's yeah what a shit Dude. show yeah what there's a, a there's a guy that's actually fucking calling him out though like i've been fucking posting all about him it's like a i think it's lieutenant colonel shutter i don't want to fucking get his rank wrong so uh he was a lieutenant guys. colonel like sheller or shellerman something Scheller, like that that's what it was. <clears throat> yeah yeah that, that's the balls on that dude are fucking astronomical because the fact that he gave up all that shit in his career, like yeah, that's he was what, like, seventeen years in too, right? Yeah, he got three for that, didn't he? Yeah, and then he yeah. resigned. Yeah, they tried to relieve him, then he resigned, and it's funny because in his fucking resignation letter, he wrote to um, what's his name, the fucking dude that looks like a fucking turtle, um, um like General Dunford, I think his name is. So, uh, I'm not for sure, but um, he wrote like I'm. He's like I. I know that you're gonna fucking you're gonna relieve me of my command, so I'm out maneuvering you. I'm fucking resigning. We could have used that in Afghanistan or some shit like that. Like it was fucking. Shit. It was pretty badass. Good for him. Yeah, that's something we need to see from fucking higher ups because the the accountability issue has been going on for so fucking long. Mm-hmm. That seeing, seeing that was like fucking it, it, literal fucking Superman in my fucking book. He's up there with mm-hmm. Mattis in my eyes. I uh, I was listening to that book uh, Jawbreaker about the like the initial Afghan invasion. So it was like the the guy that was like the chief CIA field officer there in Afghanistan, and mm-hmm. basically the guy that coordinated all the the special forces troops and. Uh, and the Northern Alliance. And then like he was directly in response corner and bin Laden there in Tora Bora. And it was just pounding the table. He's like, give me one battalion of Rangers. He's like, I need, you know, give me 800 Rangers block off the exit. And we have bin Laden there and Nope. Nope. DOD said no. And uh, just like, God damn it. And they they said we didn't want a, a strong troop presence there because we didn't want to alienate the the natives or the indigenous forces. Oh, okay, so we let him go and then invaded with one hundred and fifty thousand troops. Yeah. Great, great fucking job. Yeah, and right, stayed for twenty it, years. I mean, like tinfoil hats on. Like you think about it, with what with what the the. Um, What's what's the guy who is special forces that does the the uh, war party brand? Uh, Jeremiah Wilbur. <clears throat> but he was talking about like with the 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 military industrial complex and stuff. And I hate saying that; it makes me feel cringy because there's freaking leftists that have been saying that for years. But he, he's <clears throat> right. Like you think about that, we could have had Bin Laden in like a day and a half. It's like, all right, did they fucking? call that off in order to fucking go through with all the checks that they're writing to all the fucking big big military brands like fucking uh Raytheon and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would you know the the good like the rational person in you wants to say like no it was uh it was politics, it was incompetence, and a little bit of the military industrial complex until you go back and look the stuff that we know. Cheney, who was the you know, was he CEO of Halliburton or like on the board of Halliburton? 
and he was and he's I, I can't yeah and he's he's he, like he had all the stuff that while in office yeah and then like we know all that shit actually happened and and they've i mean they've made movies they've wrote books like i, I just watched war dogs again where the, i guess all all those uh all those arms dealers you know like normal ass people were getting involved in the in gun running to i to iraq and then you know you had uh I, I think it was wesley clark general wesley clark has he's uh he was talking about you know they're like all right we're gonna we're gonna go after bin laden there in afghanistan and he's like oh no but then we're going to iraq and he's like what well, what are we doing in iraq and he's like oh no there's iraq's just the start of it then we're going to libya syria somalia sudan and uh <clears throat> and iran and we're like well, what the fuck man like what's that have to do yeah. with al-qaeda you know and it just yeah yeah i i i think uh and then this this whole withdrawal like i still i still say kudos to biden for actually pulling the plug on it but god they fucked everything up going out of there and yeah. uh, i i i think i think that was more the the pentagon than it was biden because let's be honest i don't think biden's running anything uh, but I think they made it as yeah. painful as possible so that nobody ever wants to end the war again. And then they yeah. left all that all that shit back there for them so that, uh, well, Raytheon and Boeing and Northrop Grumman have more shit to sell to the to the to Uncle Sam. Yeah, it's no, no, it, it, it's just a fucking big shit fest. I'm just. My heart just goes out to to the families and the people who fucking lost loved ones out there. I mean, I've been I've been there. I've had to fucking see the flags on fucking caskets. It's not a fucking good deal. I mean, obviously, no. Like that's what kind of fucking makes me a little bit sick inside is that fucking absolute apathy for fucking money to fucking put people's lives at risk because you can make an extra bucks. Yeah, I. That's the thing that's the most most infuriating is like I like I don't I don't give a shit about the money so much. It's just like we just wasted an like an entire generation of war fighters for fucking nothing. Like and you know, just like there's even you know, and as far as wars go, we didn't lose that many in Afghanistan. You know, uh like it was twenty five hundred military and then like about four thousand con we lost more contractors than we did you know active duty military but like how many of those guys came back fucked up on pills and you know end up end up shooting themselves i mean they're, they're just, that's that's the part that gets me it's like and we did we did it so so you know there it's a it's a big geopolitical dick swinging contest and then um yeah, bunch bunch of bunch of dudes in suits can make some money. Yeah, and the thing the thing about contractors is a lot of contractors are veterans. Yeah. So yeah, most of them are. Yeah. So you get you're getting fucked two ways a Sunday. Like you're already in. You already had to go through the shit. You get out. You get a job with the, with a fucking contractor, or with with some type of fucking business that contracts out in Afghanistan, and then there they really don't give a fuck about you because now you're just a fucking paycheck to them so <clears throat> yeah but it's it's they, like i said that's the biggest thing's the apathy yeah yeah it's uh yeah it's fucking oh i don't know man it's what a shit show what what an yeah. absolute shit show at the at the end of the day, that's 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 all you can fucking say about it because you ain't got the power to change it. It's, I mean, no. to a point, like everybody wants to believe that one person can change it all, but um, it's gonna take everybody at this point. Well, there's got to be more like that lieutenant colonel that just walk away from it, and um, yeah, like there, I've I've heard a lot of, I guess not a lot, but like some veterans with like, you know, with you know, with a lot of influence, uh, talking about like. Yeah, like if if you're thinking about signing up, don't. And if you're, yeah. he's like, you know, I've heard a, a couple different guys saying if like I was still in right now, I'd be trying to get the fuck out as soon as I could. 
And I yeah. think that's that's what it's gonna take. If you, I mean, if you had nobody over there to fight, then then there's not gonna be any war. Like, what, yeah. what are they gonna? They're gonna try to bring back the draft. That'll go over real fucking well. Yep, that's not gonna. That's not gonna fucking uh, bode too well for a lot of people. So. Yeah, like that 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 shit's not gonna happen. I don't. I well, I don't think that shit will happen. <clears throat> um, no, but I, I think... don't know. Yeah, I didn't think people would. Uh, people would be cheering on a fucking vaccine mandate either but here we are yeah that's just getting crazy in california in california they we went into work and they were talking about um they passed they were passing an emergency fucking mandate for every business to fucking first off turn away anybody who doesn't have a vaccine card which is obscene or anybody who's not wearing a mask and if you work at any any fucking place of business, you don't have the decision anymore. If you if you fucking feel like you don't, your people should not be wearing masks, or they shouldn't have to show you fucking medical information. California will come fucking roll off on you and tell you that you have to shut your business down. Jesus. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm in Arizona. I'm moving all my shit right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Well, it sounds like uh, Newsom might might actually get recalled though i mean i don't i don't know how much i believe that it's still california but <clears throat> yeah, it's, it that's sounds it. like he's in pretty bad shape is uh caitlin jenner still running as a republican in that deal yeah in that back ass words that, that was kind <laughs> yeah. of fun. Right. i'd vote for yeah him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first transgender uh republican governor which is against transgender which it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah i i'm telling you i I'm, I'm really i'm i really think the whole uh simulation theory is, is starting to starting to yeah that korean kid yeah, needs it's making a lot more sense that little Korean kid needs to fucking lay off the candy because he's out of fucking control right now with the simulation. I know. I, I forget what was it the other day. I was telling my wife, I was like, "This is the ultimate simulation thing." Because it's like, um, fuck, I forget what it was. Damn it! Well, just know it was a good one. Just know it was a Noted. good one. Noted. Yeah, I man, I drawn a blank, but it was it was something about <clears throat> it, was on, it was it was the left wingers this time instead of instead of Republicans uh, back in a tranny, it was uh, it was the left wingers. Right here. Maybe it was something on on guns. <clears throat> but it was uh, that'd be the day. I, I forget what it what it was. I know I know what really kind of cracked me up and also made me a little sad was when uh, well I guess a couple of months ago Israel and Palestine were having another spat like they always do. And all like the the gay community was like on Palestine side. And I was like, do you guys even understand mm-hmm. that they want nothing to do with you? And honestly, would hope you would all die. <clears throat> yeah, well, would probably you're gladly kill them too. Mom. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It was it, it's 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 a wild wild time what a oh. time to be alive i wonder how yeah. the studies is going in uh iran how's how, has anybody heard about that is that going well the what the gender stud? oh that was in pakistan oh. or no that was in afghanistan pa- that was afghanistan i wonder i wonder if they're putting that money to good use right now <clears throat> um yeah, you know, they're probably gender studying like some some nuclear weapons <laughs> yeah. Well, um, depends on which which side. I mean, sure, the 
the the ones that that dropped their weapons and ran off they they did some gender studies on little boys and <laughs> um Oh, and, one of my and the the other side, the women are just basically livestock, so they don't even consider that a gender, really. It's just your 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 property. Gen- gender studies. There's only three genders: little boys, livestock, and men. Right. <laughs> yeah, goats and women are 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 on equal playing field. There, we got caught, we caught a couple of guys. It was funny because we were talking to one a couple of the pilots, and you know they have the night vision. They have the the night tracking systems on the aircraft and um he they, they caught a dude literally fucking a goat out in afghanistan and i thought like i thought they were joking they showed me the video they had, this guy had his fucking boots on and he had the fucking goat up against him you couldn't see anything because night vision is not that great but <clears throat> uh, way to live up to a stereotype stereotype muhammad you fucking ass <laughs> make it all italian I- look better <laughs> The funniest I, uh, thing was that uh that CNN reporter, which like that that chick had a set of cojones on her because she was like they're chanting death to America, but they seem still- very friendly at the same time. It's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're happy that they fucking get to go. Never mind. I ain't gonna go into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy of mine tell me a story. Uh in Afghanistan, they were on fucking patrol, or they were on fucking watch at Bob, and uh, they'd watch the fucking Afghans chase this donkey around. bunch of bunch of guys would chase this fucking donkey around, and try to catch it, fuck it. And uh, the guys on watch would fucking watch them through their night vision all night, chasing this fucking donkey, and. Every now and then they'd catch it and somebody'd fucking rail this poor donkey. But one day they were watching him and it fucking double barreled this dude right in the face and killed him dead as a doornail. <laughs> and they were like, Good for you, donkey. Get one in. <laughs> It'd have been funnier if the donkey started fucking him though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ben Septon right there. (laughs) Can you imagine the eulogy at that funeral? (laughs) They they left him there. They just fucking left him in the (laughs) Fuck yeah. I I would too if I was if I'd watched my my buddy get get double barreled in the face with a raging heart on (laughs) by a donkey. What what do you tell everybody? I ain't telling anybody shit. I'm out. I am I was out. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Never I... speaking of this again. <laughs> I don't even know what donkey is. I've only seen a camel. Like my <laughs> only response to anybody for like the next six months would just be nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> Just yeah, trying trying to trying to get your rocks off with a donkey. <laughs> yeah, you don't gotta be lonely at Taliban only, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Taliban only. <laughs> oh, we had a, I, had a, fuck. I had a buddy in Afghanistan because we <laughs> our head our heads like at this by the point we went to Afghanistan it was 2012. So we were pretty well established out there. We had heads, but they were separate from our room, so we had to walk to the head to go take a shower, shit, whatever. And I had a buddy who was very feminine looking, and he had fucking three goddamn dudes because we would hire um, foreign nationals to go clean the heads and stuff. And he had three dudes corner him, and for some reason the dude was fucking super moto, and he had his knife on him, and he had to whip out his knife to get him to fucking back off. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So it would not have been that's a fun uh, time. Yeah, that's a that's a hundred percent right there. <laughs> <laughs> what a man, what a fucking bass backwards <laughs> Kane's watch and he said I leave for 10 minutes and come back to donkey loving. <laughs> <laughs> hey that donkey fucked some boy up. <laughs> It's a it's a cultural thing. You gotta let it happen. It's cultural. Hey, just just uh, don't question it, Kane. This is 
<laughs> this is how I was able to sponsor your bronc ride this weekend. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just don't don't pay attention to where the money comes from, buddy. You you better get on that horse from his back and not his rear. Yeah, if you if you get try uh, if you get caught trying to fuck that uh, that bronc this weekend, I'm I. I I'll probably sponsor you again. Just don't don't die. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. Hurt, but it's good for the business. Fucking a horse, but I could see him leaning over and whispering sweet things into his ear before they turn. Up. <laughs> I mean, if you get caught, you're going to be wearing a shirt with my logo on it, anyways. So <laughs> like, at this, that point, I'm like that. that I'm right in there. too deep. That's pun intended um just make sure you get the logo in the in the fucking uh the jail picture yeah (laughs) oh shit that's uh yeah that (laughs) you i mean what 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 do you say i I mean like you said you they they left him but like can you imagine explaining that (laughs) who was wives (laughs) Yeah, his wife. <laughs> Imagine having uh, six different wives, but you got a fucking donkey. Yeah, no uh, shit. Yeah, That's they uh, rough. Oof. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a that's a rough one. That's that's uh. <laughs> that's fucking, uh, just, just hear it I, better fucking take some cooking lessons if that's the case like someone's got to <laughs> fucking get them out you know, if I had six wives I probably wouldn't be at home either I wouldn't be fucking a donkey <laughs> I wouldn't be at home no <laughs> that's fair yeah and then like you you read those reports on like the on the like those I guess it wasn't even the the Taliban. It was like the Afghan National Army and the, those commanders that were that were just parading around with the little boys, not just fucking them, but like making those those boys dance for them and shit. And like fucking weird, dude. That's uh. Did Chris? Did you work with any of the A and A much? I didn't. I personally didn't work with them a lot. Um, I had a few friends who did, and they are fucking dumb as a box of rocks from what from what i fucking heard that's like, what I heard i but i they, heard that like any chance they got any kind of downtime they were getting high as a fucking kite yeah God like if, there's a documentary there's a documentary on netflix called restrepo that went into that and they were like smoking weed while they were getting shot at and shit it's like <clears throat> all right man like that's cool and all. Like you go to your little slightly stupid concert and fucking smoke weed, but not while we're getting fucking shot at. <laughs> we got shit to do. Yeah. Like right yeah. in the middle of a fucking firefight, they're blazing up. They're, right, they're in pretty, the Hindu Kush. I mean, that's the the origins the of shit. the Kush strain. So, I mean, yeah, I don't blame them, but time and place, you know, like come on, let's, yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> know your surroundings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking, uh, there's a, one of my, one of my buddies was a fucking, uh, a security guard at, a at like one of the holding cells for fucking Taliban guys that would get in. And, um, there was a, uh, he said it was fucking horrible because the ANA didn't do shit. They just sat there and they fucking smoked. And then he would get like shit thrown at him by the fucking guys that were in the fucking cells. Like it was fucking the San Diego Zoo or something. Fucking just monkeys throwing shit at you. Well, don't want to use the monkey Jesus. word. But, you know. Well, what other primate throws shit besides monkeys? Yeah. Well, my question is, how long Mark do you have garbage does? before they quit <laughs> creating fecal matter? Because the first time somebody throws a handful of shit at me, they're not fucking eating for a long time. Oh, I just give them some. I just give them some fucking eye drops so their fucking shit wasn't solid enough for that. But I don't know how well that would go over. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that man that'd probably get extra duty. <laughs> Luke, right? yeah. Well, and then you just wonder, like, all right, so we 
we killed Bin Laden in 2011. And then everybody else is like, oh, this is going to be bad when we pull out. Like, we've known for a long time that it was not going to be good when we pulled out. And nobody wanted that on their on their resume. So yeah. that we just stayed over there. Just like kept, kept it going. <laughs> I, I think the longer we were there, the more, pe- more people hated us. And it just fucking added people to the Taliban ranks. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously it did because, I mean, they rolled through in essentially two months. They, they retook the entire fucking country for the most yeah. part without firing a shot, too. That's, that was the crazy part. Outside of a well, couple a couple provinces, they just rolled in and uh, said, join us or drop your weapons and go home. And that was, that was pretty much it. Well, they've been training yeah. A and A for fuh- 20 um, years. And they're all still dumb as box of rocks. So I don't know anybody who actually worked with them one-on-one who had high hopes in them ever holding anything. Yeah. No. Well, like, like all those, especially like the, the special forces guys that I've talked with, like, yeah, every one of them said, just, you know, the, the guys actually doing the, the training and recruiting, they're like, no, nah, these, these guys are, <clears throat> well, and like that book I was reading, today that that cia chief he was talking about how um they had two different warlords that they they were working with like the the dod was working with with one one of them uh with uh with like a jsoc team and then the cia like special activities group was was working with another warlord and uh the the jsoc team was like like that warlord was trying to call in an airstrike on the other warlord that that the cia people were were working with and luckily like they caught it in time but like no no and it's just like that that feud probably went back generations and they're just like they're just using american American air power and, and money to get back at a decades old feud. Yeah, they're just, Fucking... they just got bigger toys over the years. That's all it was. <clears throat> Man, yeah. Uh, well, what was the what was the deal with that? Uh, they were flying that Black Hawk around, or was it Apache or a Black Hawk? I can't remember. But the... it, it was a it was a Black Hawk. It was a sixty. Um, I thought, like, I, I saw that, and I was like, oh, great. But the, the story behind it is a little different. Uh, from, I, one, from one thing I read, from one thing I read, it was, um, it was actually video from UAE pilots. Oh. But then I had another, I had another, another thing I read that it was, it was Taliban, but they weren't hanging the dude. They were, they had him hanging off the thing because he was like doing work on like a tower or some stupid shit like that yeah or like trying to plant a flag or something i heard that i i i know that uh dan dan crenshaw had a had a fiery instagram post uh and he was like we need we need you know more military power now and then i never i never did see him rescind that either and so yeah, like, he, needs to, he probably needs to get his eye checked and fucking go rescind that <laughs> right I just, man, it, it's amazing how how quick the I like the the right wing war hawks were pretty well dead under the the Trump administration. Like you didn't hear much from them, but poo, they've come out of the woodworks here lately. Yeah. Like no no offense to Dan Crenshaw because he's he's a seal. He could probably beat my ass, but <laughs> I think some of the some of his politics aren't really where they where it should be at. Well, he should know better. <clears throat> That's the thing. Is he yeah. should know better. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and yep. yeah, like not, not, it's it's the same. He's another John McCain. Like no, 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 taken away from his military service, but God damn it, you should know better. <laughs> yeah. 
like we can't we can't sit there we can't sit there and be like oh you're fake news and then post shit like that and not fucking address it when we're wrong because right. then, then, then where the fuck is our credibility at yeah yeah i don't know man it's uh what's uh what's your overall thoughts with this this shit in it i mean because like you 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 were over there personally i mean um man that, that's a tough question i'm still trying to process it a little bit uh that that whole week i was fucking off the rails like i was just fucking livid but like looking at it right now i mean the i wish they would fucking fix it right now because there's <laughs> there, i'm getting horrible ass stories about like the the taliban they need to for first off they need to let us fucking fire at fucking at fucking enemy targets period yeah. If, some, if they're threatening a fucking base, we need to be able to fucking shoot the motherfuckers. Um, because I like the and that's thing that's just kind of like a personal thing. Because I remember when we were getting attacked, uh, fucking there's a sergeant major going around telling everybody to fucking not not be condition one with your weapon, which is the which is around in the chamber ready to go. Yeah, and it's like motherfucker, we're getting shot at. Like, go pound sand, dude. So the fact that it's so high up. That they're that the fucking order is not to fucking shoot because we have a ceasefire when they're out there like cutting the arms off of terps and then fucking melting their ID into their fucking chest. It's like you, at some point you gotta let us fucking shoot somebody. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I think that should be the first thing. I mean, I don't. I know that's gonna cause more problems, but this isn't gonna be fucking pretty if we don't. If it's it's gonna be worse if we can't. Yeah. So, um. With the whole war ending, um, I get a lot of Vietnam vibes, even though I can't really say that because Vietnam vets were treated a lot worse than what we are. Um, but it's it, it hurts. It's bittersweet because now I know that like my buddies who are still in don't have to go over there and fucking deal with that shit. But at the same time, like the way it's been gone about, it's just that shit needs to be addressed. The yeah. accountability, the accountability, accountability is the big is a big issue in the military. It's cool to see um, see that lieutenant colonel step up. I wish more people would do that. If that would yeah. happen, like, if that would happen, it would be like a house of cards of everything starting to go the way it should. Yeah, and so like you were Marines, right? Marine Corps. Yes, sir. Yeah, so like that. That's I mean uh, that hits home especially for you because that that uh lieutenant colonel's he's marine corps and uh yeah and he like he was a uh, like i said like 17 years in like he didn't have much to go and he had full retirement and shit full pension and uh yep. i that that's leadership that that's leadership yeah. throwing that shit away because Absolutely. uh i don't know <laughs> i mean hats off to that guy i uh you know, and, and Justin Willis, who was here with us on the on the last bull session, you were like he he had even talked about pitching in to, to to send some Stetson beef to that guy too. And I, I I'm I'm all in favor of it. Yeah. So I I might see if we can yeah. get a hold of that guy. But he has a he has a business. I think it's called the Perfect Mount. I'll have to double check with you, but um, he has a business, and I I don't know how many veterans listen to the podcast, but um. I would definitely, I would buy a shirt from him. Like I'm working on buying yeah. a shirt from him because, you know, like half his, I, I went to the website, half his shit's fucking sold out. So that's a good sign. But um, like anything that he has going on outside the Marine Corps, I'd fully fucking support. Cause that, yeah. like you need to reward, you need to reward people that are willing to call out shit, call a spade a spade. Because if you don't, you get this fucking group think that just fucking caused us to stay in a 20 year war. Right. Well, and so you've got Lloyd Austin, who's the, you know, Secretary of Defense, uh, mm -hmm. was just on the board of Raytheon, uh, you know, nine months ago or whenever the fuck it was, like right before he got confirmed as SecDef, was on the board of Raytheon. No, they're not a conflict of interest. Interests their interest there. I mean, Jesus yeah. Christ, man! Like that, that, that revolving door in Washington's. Uh, and and there's been stories for years about how big a piece of shit that guy was back when he was commander of the 82nd Airborne, you know? Yeah. He's 
that and and that that's how it always always is with those you know i forget who who said it uh it might have been jeremiah i i can't remember but he said like once you hit full bird kernel like you're a politician you're not a you're not <clears throat> you're not a soldier anymore you're just a fucking politician and they they fail mm-hmm. upwards there'd have been no accountability for any of oh, will you know they'll they'll run eddie gallagher through the mud uh for beating the shit out of a an afghan dude for raping little boys but um the people that just have have ruined i mean just fucked up the entire gwat no they do yeah. they get promoted they get promoted yeah. and then when they retire they uh they go serve on a board of directors for for some company that's going to make billions off of it yeah yeah jeremiah jeremiah was was pretty spot on with what he was saying in that last podcast with with where people go i that that stuck with me a lot because i mean during during that 2012 thing during the whole week there was the attack on bastion um a couple a and a guys fucking turned taliban in the middle of fucking doing patrols and shot a couple marines and then the Benghazi thing all in the same week yeah and <clears throat> And while there were people removed from from office, um, or their posts or whatever, there there was there was still enough blame for I feel for other people to kind of fucking you know that had to step up that didn't. And there's yeah. it, it's funny because there's a, a there's a Wikipedia post about it online, and from w- what I got from it when I read it back in the day, there was a lot of finger pointing at different people. A different countries even because you know nato is fucking a, a clusterfuck of countries so i was like yeah. oh well you were supposed to be here well you're supposed to be there and it got to the point that everybody was pointing the finger at each other and nobody got blamed for it so right but the shit fucking it, it resounds now in 2021 i mean like fucking damn near 10 years later with this fucking accountability issue mm-hmm so sorry, not trying to rant, but no, no, it's all good, man. I uh <laughs> no, it, it's just uh Yeah, you know, we got it we got our ass kicked over there because it was a war that we shouldn't have ever started. You know, like the the going after bin Laden, like that, yeah, absolutely we should have done that. And we had him. We fucking had yeah. him. If somebody would uh you know, like you had, you had, uh, you had people that went in, did the hard work and the, the way that guy, like I, I'd, I'd recommend everybody go, it's on audible too. So if, if you, if you don't have time to read it, you can listen to it, but it's called jawbreaker and it's about the, <laughs> and it's, it starts back like back with like the embassy bombings in, uh, in Nairobi and, um, fuck, I forget where the other one is Kenya and, I forget the other one, but it was like the early days of, uh, of Osama. And, but it talked about how they basically retook all of Afghanistan using, using Northern Alliance and, and, and the Eastern Alliance Afghan forces, a hundred CIA guys and 350, uh, special operations guys. And they had bin Laden pinned down in Tora Bora. And we had Mattis with 4,000 Marines standing by. And we had, you know, all, all, it would have, all they were asking for was, uh, was 800 Rangers to uh, secure the Pakistani border. But no, we, we relied on the Pakistani uh, Frontier Force, which, fuck, they're, they, they were letting people, they were letting Al Qaeda and whoever else across the Afghan border, like, like we're letting Mexicans across the border right now. I mean, it was just, (laughs) yeah. And, uh, and all all it would have took and they said, Oh, we don't want to, we don't want to, um, alienate the, the Afghan (laughs) nationals with, uh, with too many troops. And then, well, then what the fuck happened? We sent 150 ground troops in after we let him escape. And you're just like, what the fuck man <laughs> like th- this could have been yeah, done would have been a lot shorter. this could have been done by christmas day 
2001 and we could have been out of there with, uh, you know, less than less than two handfuls of American troops killed. No, and, too and how many, how many, how many people were, were removed? How many people were removed from their post because of that? Uh, that that guy that that led it, the 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 chief uh, chief officer, CIA officer, was removed as so he the was one, asking. The only, guy, the only guy that had the idea. <laughs> yeah, the guy that was that was pounding yeah. the table to send in uh, send in the the Rangers to secure the the escape and, and trap him in Tora Bora. Yeah, the guy that was pounding the table saying we got him. <laughs> you know, we have we have special forces guys. Uh, calling in airstrikes, keeping him pinned down. That guy got removed. Yeah, Iron, ironic. Yeah, and got sent back to South America. I think he retired right after, but like, yeah, it, it's just insane. It's insane, and and here we are, twenty years later, and it's just like, fuck. It's it's another Vietnam, is is what it is, and, yeah. and you know. We we sent we sent people over there to to arm and train the Mujahideen to give the the Soviets their version of Vietnam, and here we yeah. are, forty years later, with the same exact results. Yeah, it's insane, just fucking insane, man. Yeah, it's it's sad. It's I don't know. That's all. That's all I got to say about that. But. <laughs> It's uh speaking of which, congrats to Thad. <clears throat> My buddy Thad <laughs> just had his his first kid, Alabama. <laughs> I was like, first, first, oh, wait a minute, why are you saying this kid? Why did I say a Forrest Gump quote and you're talking about a kid? Like <laughs> yeah. kind of, <clears throat> well, and Thad hates Al or he well, he loves Alabama, but he hates Forrest Gump. I don't know how that how that happens, but you know, I bet <laughs> that's all that it's not What's like that? Forrest Gump. In Alabama, any justice? True. <laughs> well, I mean, he might be the smartest man in Alabama. Fucking <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I I used to live I used to live in Alabama, and I can attest to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. Thad. Thad's I'm a smart a, guy, kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on <laughs> Facebook. I'm gonna have three less friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh I was I was uh, I was actually making a joke. It's it, it's pretty interchangeable. I was actually making fun of Jake, who was supposed to be on the night. He's from Arkansas, and, uh, and he's like uh, my my coworker's like those are some tough sons of bitches. I was like, well, yeah, because uh, you you got to fight your brother to fuck your sister, so you got to be tough. <laughs> 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 I got, uh, I got a bu- I got a buddy in, in Arkansas I'm in good graces with, so I'm not going to comment on that. But I, <laughs> like I said, it's a pretty interchangeable. I mean, you could you could use that same joke for Missouri, Alabama, Arkansas, Mississippi, yeah. West Virginia. I mean, they're pretty Louisiana. interchangeable. Louisiana too. <laughs> yeah. Damn the fucking West Virginia trips me out. There's. I've seen some videos of like the, there's legit incest families in West Virginia. Like, no surprise, but fuck, they start making their own languages at some point, and it's like, all right, <laughs> that's why they have yeah. so many goddamn banjos. Well, <laughs> the only reason they catch so much shit is because uh, they didn't have an empire. Because <laughs> all of Europe was like they're the the ruling elite of Europe was like that too. They 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 were incest as a motherfucker. They just happened yeah. to have a whole lot of money and armies behind them. So, yeah, West Virginia is the exact opposite of that. Same family, same fucking family stick structure. But yeah, they were they were the they were the crackheads of the of the European <laughs> royal families. They they just all ended up in West Virginia and Arkansas and Alabama. <laughs> oh, fuck, you see that? You see that fucking. I'm I'm pretty damn sure there's incest families that are fucking nabbing people when they fucking get up there because you look at the what was that you map? Blood in there every now and then. Yeah, you got yeah. you got to mix up the blood a little bit. You know, it's like fucking making tequila. You got to fucking add something to it. But yeah. um, fucking 
Oh, so there's like a fucking map of like the disappearances in the United States and like the tunnel systems in the United States. And the Appalachians have an awful lot of fucking tunnel systems. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're adding blood here and there. Well, the yeah. uh, Amish community has gotten real big into adopting children in the last fucking 20, 30 years because they're they all come from such a small community of people that just about everybody's related. So they've been uh, adopting children to get new blood in. Could could you imagine that you find out you're getting adopted and, and you're like, oh man, I hope it's like Bradley or Angelona or Jolie. And you show up and you're turning butter. <laughs> 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 yeah you're, you're expecting to go to get to meet all like the the hot uh celebrity uh you know they're all the all their kids instead no you're just like uh you're beating it to mary margaret's ankles yeah <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking smooth piece of drift was looking pretty good right now <laughs> uh yeah it's uh yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine the, <clears throat> that the Amish recruiters have have a lot of success. <laughs> they definitely don't go in there telling them what's going to happen. That's for sure. <laughs> no, no. The Army like, recruiters are bad. The fucking the fucking Amish are worse. Well, see, I think the the Mormons used to call that lion for the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the Amish mafia. <laughs> Wasn't there a show like that? Yeah, there was. Oh my god! Yeah. They uh, <laughs> they probably would have better recruitment rates, uh, but I don't think their women are all that desirable. I don't know, I mean, man. Have you seen them without the bonnet? I've never seen a, an Amish lady that I was really like. I I I'd turn the lights off for and go by the candlelight. Well, I saw a really dumb <laughs> comedy do, movie that <laughs> talked about Rumspringa, and those Amish chicks had some really nice titties. So that's what I'm basing. That's what I'm basing my 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 knowledge of the Amish on. I'm I'm sure it was real accurate. <laughs> Imagine the bush on those chicks. Like Man. Man, I haven't seen a bush in years. <laughs> I uh. Yeah, that that's like full fro, I would imagine. <laughs> that's a she, scary movie, bro. Cool. And shears that <laughs> yeah. fucking <laughs> trim that shit up. <laughs> but you best not use that fucking electric razor and fucking what the fuck <laughs> they call it They're like my, fucking uh Messiah uh Jon Jonasiah or whatever the fuck. <laughs> you put <laughs> those electric Daya. shears away, you go fucking back to where you should. <laughs> no, <in> house. <laughs> Those girls are dumb. Dead and <laughs> they probably take their cooters with a straight razor. Oh. oh, fuck. Man, that's a dangerous game to play. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> that's a slippery well, like slope. At least... Opening up things. Oh, that's a good pun there. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but at least on the women's side of things, like it's not it's not protruding. I mean, I guess there's outies, so um, hmm. I don't know. There, this is a this is a problem we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work through here because I, I it's still like that's definitely not something you want to do as a as a dude or, or in today's culture. If you have a penis, if you happen to be a woman with a penis, you don't want to shave with a with a straight razor. Uh, yeah that's not a bad idea I, I, well i mean unless unless you're going I mean, for that like, like if you're if you're yeah. going you could transition yourself pretty easy i guess i don't know it's what the survival rate there. on that is but <laughs> i own a straight razor but i could not imagine getting that thing within like two feet of my nutsack there ain't no fucking oh, way fuck i don't want to i don't i'm fucking hoodie gang i don't want to think about it mm-hmm yeah yeah i oof. <laughs> oof. 
Yeah, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> Fucking, I, I mean, uh, like if if there's any ladies that have tried that, I mean, feel free well, to they got to share drop, your experience. But I, 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 yeah, leave it in the comments. Hammer out. that like button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That that's. Uh, that's brave, yeah, they're not not a they, chance I would not lines. a chance I would do that. No, I, I, not even not even yeah. on a bad day. No, <laughs> no like Lorena Bobbit yourself. I'll, I'll <laughs> fucking braid my shit before I take a straight razor to it. I ain't fucking <laughs> playing that game. Yeah, no, I, I'll I'll just I'll go full lion's mane before <laughs> before I do <laughs> any, any of that shit. Yeah, it's it's funny. Like we're talking about the Mormons and stuff. I I didn't realize how prevalent they were in Idaho, because I, I went through. Uh, oh yeah, it's weird. It's weird being in a fucking uh, truck stop at fucking nine o'clock at night and seeing somebody dressed like they're in the eighteen hundreds. Think you're fucking seeing a ghost or something? Mm. Should I ask for it. a fuck out. No, I know that. <laughs> no, I know that. No, I know that the the fucking. Uh, all the fucking eighteen hundreds girls got the the fucking mommy milkers. I should have fucking dropped her Snapchat or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got uh you got the the fundamentalist up there in northern Arizona. There, that Colorado oh, City, yeah. I think. Fucking Colorado City. That was such a big issue growing up. Like it, they 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 are fucking separate from everybody else. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like they, you can. Utah actually just. Uh, decriminalized polygamy here not too long ago decriminalized uh, it yeah like Damn. they said it was okay again yeah um uh, i don't know, I didn't, even know they, I didn't know they fucking knocked it well they didn't really the the federal government did that that was the whole that was the whole reason they they got rid of polygamy and the mormon religion was because the the federal government started hunting those fuckers down <laughs> like the the <clears throat> the president of the church uh Why? right after uh brigham young died the the next one he actually fled to mexico because they were they, they were hunting him down that's so nuts i'm gonna look that because that was Within the last like 10, 15 years, I think they did that. And and probably I think I think um sooner than that. Um yeah, I, I went on a I'm still I'm still working on, on my Mormon series because it it's fucking interesting. That that whole yeah. that whole deal is real, real interesting, but um, yeah, I want to say it was like in the twenty tens, sometime twenty teens. Damn, that's recent. That's way too recent. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I think they just they're just like fuck it. They're um. Let's see. Not like it wasn't happening already. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's they just. just... It's weird. Um, twenty twenty actually. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. May 12th, 2020. <laughs> you know what? Bigamy the world is no longer illegal in Utah. You can have five wives. You know what they they slipped it in right at the beginning of the of the pandemic and they're just like, "All right, nobody's paying attention." <laughs> have at it mormons have at it <laughs> brigham young is smiling today courthouse is full <laughs> the next month oh man no we can't get you new fucking tags we got 1500 fucking marriage license to process <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i will not renew your driver's license today i have got 17 marriages to perform they're all <laughs> the same dude 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the high school, really fucking put the words in. Can you imagine and, the high school yearbooks? There'd just be fucking four pages of the same name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was enough. I think that was also... Uh, um. That was also a thing with the the fundamentalist Mormons is they had to start like adopting kids to uh, to bring some new blood in because uh, yeah they uh, there there was a lot of women but not not so many dudes apparently and so, so uh, like not, not, maybe, not enough to go around just marrying half brothers. Fucking family reunion looks that, that would be a <laughs> festival. Fuck yeah. I don't know. The Colorado City thing was fucking pretty pretty big deal growing up. I remember we used to watch documentaries of it in fucking class. Just like, don't do that. I'm like, I wasn't fucking planning on it. Didn't even know that it was yeah. happening. <laughs> Didn't know that was an option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're set, you're telling me like as a teenage kid you, that fucking sounds awesome, but now being a fucking do- divorcee, it's like, fuck if that wouldn't have been a horrible fucking decision. Oh god, could you you know, pissing one wife off is a bad day. Could you imagine oh, yeah. off seven wives? You'd have to leave for like two fucking months. Yeah, <laughs> and they all fucking like scientifically they all fucking sink. So it's like. Uh, there's one, you know, there's one week out of the month where you have to be out of the house or else you're fucking risking your life. You're fucking. Well, see, that's where going, Brigham like, Young had it figured out. Time. Brigham Young had it figured out because he just had, well, he also was the head of the church. So he had all the money. Yeah. So he just gave every one of them their own house. That was that way they couldn't sync <laughs> up. And, and he also, they, they were kind of like the, the, the <laughs> Taliban, you know, like, uh, the women were more property than they were people. Yeah. I don't know. I, they also, they also let women uh, vote too, but that was, that was more for political uh, reasons the- than for, uh, for human rights. It wasn't so much a human rights issue as a, as it was a political issue. They're like, all right, I guess Mary Sue, go ahead. Well, when you got nine bitches nagging you about it, you might as well let them. (laughs) So there was actually. uh, (laughs) um, It was it was shortly after they all moved to to Salt Lake or to the Salt Lake Valley or the Salt Lake Basin. um, And like they really allowed polygamy. The the women got bit to bitching too much. So like. There, there's a, a documented speech from Brigham Young, and he was like, uh, I'm tired of all the bitching, and all you women who don't want this anymore, you can leave now. <laughs> or <laughs> if not, then quit your goddamn bitching. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, look, I've just found this stone that says women need to stop fucking talking. <laughs> right, yeah, I, I put on my gold goggles, and it says, uh, "Women, stop your goddamn bitching." <laughs> Fucking convenient, there, Brigham. Um, oh man, oh, what a weird, hilarious religion that is. Yeah, that, I don't know, because I, I grew up Catholic. Because my like my dad's from Scotland. So, like, we had his whole family, he has fucking seven brothers and sisters. Yeah. So, they, they were, like, you know, the stereotypical Catholic family, which is which is awesome. I just have so many cousins now that I don't know who's actually family when they add me, and their last name is for real. So, <laughs> so, like, I remember taking, I had a girlfriend once who was atheist, and I took her to a mass, and we got out in the mass, and she's like, I thought I just stepped into a cult. And I was I was like, what? Because it all seems so normal. Like going to church so long in your life, and like you walk in, you don't think it like you know when to stand up, you know when to sit down, um, you know when the fucking priest is gonna touch it. So you know what's going fucking on. <laughs> so so, uh, so you were you were one of the lucky ones that got touched. Yeah. yeah you, was, you were not, not the crazy. ugly kid that they, they left alone. Oh no, at 13 they stopped touching. They were like, no. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you're too old. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, no, it was funny. It was funny because you just don't think about it. Like, what's so fucking normal to you in your life? And then uh, bringing somebody from the outside and hearing that it looks like a cult. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that kind of seems like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I went to a uh a Greek Orthodox wedding, which I mean that's uh, you know almost identical to a Catholic uh yeah. Catholic wedding, except it's in Greek instead of Latin. Um yeah, I was at the at the cathedral there in, in Denver and it was all in Greek and you know it was same same as a as a Catholic mass, just up down, up down. And then, you know, the chants, the prayers and everything, but it was all in Greek. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And then, you know, <laughs> it's the cathedral. So there's like all the super cool paintings of dragons and shit on the, on the dome of the cathedral. And I was, so, I mean, it was cool, but I had no clue what they're saying. You're like, <clears throat> at least Latin, I could kind of halfway catch a word here and there. Yeah. But Greek, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I didn't understand I anything. The fucking uh what is it? The body of Christ is like a gyro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just some shitty lamb meat <laughs> with yogurt on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can, I can forgive remember. me, Father. Gonna... Forgive me, Padre, for I have sinned. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but on 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 that note i gotta go i gotta get some sleep i gotta go to prescott tomorrow but, uh thanks for having me on again i appreciate you reaching out that's cool yeah no problem man i appreciate it. it was fun so um take care and uh thanks everybody for tuning in uh sorry dale wasn't a big fan of the show um our conversation was better than, than the show so whatever it happens it happens i'm sure somebody will like it um on that note yeah on that note move your ass we're burning daylight